looking at the averages here, the last thing that I want to touch on, so we have Mo Bamba at 13.1 points per game, Wendell at 12.6 points. Um, Mo is shooting 53% from the floor. Wendell is shooting 51% from the floor. Mo Bamba is shooting 44% uh, from the floor uh, from the three-point line. Wendell is shooting 34% from the three-point line. Uh, Mo is averaging nine rebounds. Wendell is averaging 9.3 rebounds. Mo is averaging 1.9 blocks per game. Wendell is averaging one point per game. Luke, we talked all offseason, all summer league, all preseason, even I think the first handful of regular season games, that Wendell is just by far and away the better player right now. He's the more consistent player right now. I feel like my mind about that is changing a little bit. I'm not ready to say that Mo Bamba is the better player, Luke, but I feel like it is much closer than we thought coming into the season. How do you feel? Yeah, man. I, I for one, feel like a goober. Because I feel like a goober. <laughs> because I feel like a goober. Because all off season it was like Mo or WCJ. I'm dying. Mo or WCJ. And then have you ever seen the meme of the girl, the, the little girl, and she's like, why not both? That is literally WCJ and Mo Bamba. Why not both? They they can play together, man. They can play together. They both are averaging nine rebounds a game right now. They're both averaging about the same amount of points per game, I think. Like, they're guys that could share the court or they could be on the court without the other. I mean, they don't need each other, and then but they complement each other. It is such a weird thing because we just didn't think about it. Like that wasn't even a, a possibility in our minds that they could play together. And Mo Mosley, I will say that is the one thing Mosley has done. You know? And 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 I think that even the front office has probably come along on the idea more than they were in the preseason, right? I mean, they had that pod squad episode and and he was talking about, you know, what do you think about Mo and WCJ? And he was like, Well, let's be clear. When Jonathan Isaac comes in, he's the four, which is right. But in the moment, it felt right. like he was. Just, still, it yeah. felt it felt like he was rubbing off the idea of Mo and WCG playing playing together in general on the court at the same time. Besides, right now, like it's, oh, it's just a silly little thing Moses is doing right now. I don't know, you know. But but it really is something that could work for this team. Like something you could see where if you're you know if you've got Ji off the court, you bring WCJ in the game off the bench to stagger some minutes where he's on the court with Mo. And just knowing that WCJ can play the four, I mean, it, it really is. I mean, I I think that it's close, right? But I think that it's very different now. I don't think that this needs to happen anymore. Like, I don't think your question has to be asked anymore. Like, who's better, WC? I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't right. care. I think that they can coexist on the same roster and be good and complement each other. It doesn't have to be one against the other anymore. Like, they, they are very much... On the save wavelength, I I'm I I think I'm I'm past the the debate. I just don't know if there is one anymore. A need. Do you remember? I think it was after the last preseason game where we did that live, and we had a, a gentleman come on to the live and ask whether or not we thought <laughs> like we would see Mo Bamba and Wendell Carter Jr. together in the regular season, and we basically like laughed. We were we, like, no, we laughed like, them off. Yeah, this is a cool thing that they they tried, but like we're we're not gonna see this and. I need to issue an apology because <laughs> yeah. they've been really great. Like they, they both have been really great. And I do not envy Jamal Mosley when Jonathan Isaac comes back and he has to make the decision of who does he start, Mo Bomber or Wendell Carter Jr. I said that I think at the beginning of the week in one of like my post game recaps. And I, even in the moment, I was like, hmm, is it a little bit early to say this? I was like, you know what? I'm just going to say it because I think Mo's been really good. Mm. And like I felt that Mo Bomba was like the you know inferior rebounder compared to Wendell, and I do still feel like that to a certain extent. But when you look at the rebounds, and it's 9.3, and Mo is averaging 9 a game, I really felt like Mo was averaging like 6 or 7 rebounds a game. The fact that he's averaging 9, now the 18 rebound game obviously inflates this a bit, but Mo has legitimately been very good. I will argue with anybody, and I still see people saying things on Twitter like, oh, Mo Bamba's not playing well. It's like he had 12 points and. 10 rebounds in the first half. What do you want him to do? Yeah, if he... Like, if, and two if, blocks. Yeah. What and, else can you ask from the kid? And I saw that thread, too, and the guy basically went on to say, like, yeah, he had a great first half, but I'd like to see it all the time. You 
he had a great he's doing it all the time now. But but it, but that's the thing though. Like like people say that right? They're like, oh, but I want to see it the whole length of the game. Why does that matter when he when last year you would have paid thirty dollars to see a Mo Bamba can you know Mo Bamba average these type of numbers, right? Like, and you would have argued you know to your blue in the face that Mo should get these minutes, or maybe you were just a Mo hater and you said and and by the way. If you were a Mo hater and you were like, you know, whatever. And I, I, I'm i I'm guilty of this too. I said this in the preseason. I said, you can move on from Mo. I wouldn't be hurt about it. Like, you can move now on. I said, I said, you don't feel like that's too early? You're like, no. No, I didn't. And I, truthfully, I didn't. I wouldn't, like, say that differently, you know, anyway today. Um, at the time, that's just the truth. He has gone to just prove us wrong. Like, prove me wrong. I, I knew. It. Now, I will say this. There's a caveat, right? It's been seven games. I want him to stay healthy. I want him to continue to contribute. However, I think that he has every right to be the starting center on this team. I I, I will not bat. So does Wendell though? No, absolutely. I won't. I know what I was about to say. My next follow up was like, it sucks now. Yeah, I'm well, upset about this. Well, right, but it's better than them both of them being absolute trash cans. So there's that. You right about that? Yeah. So you ain't lying. So it makes it. I'm not going to bat an eye, and this is what I was about to say, if Moe starts WCJ over Mo or Moe. Play, because I think they're going to play the same amount of minutes. I, I think that, that right now, I mean, let's see. Right now you got Moe playing 32, WCJ playing 27. So Playing both 24 minutes a game. Right, yeah. I mean, I don't I don't see you know a, a problem with, with that at all. Like I said, I really... Even though when J.I. comes back, it looks a little trickier, but I really I really think and hope that WCJ versus Mo is just kind of dead at this point because I really do think that they both contribute in very, you know, beneficial ways. I'm a fan of both of those guys. I'm not I'm not like as long as you can stay healthy, you know, when Wendell Carter Jr.'s had his stuff, you know, his injuries, Moe's had his stuff. I did want to say this, Jonathan, about Mo, and before we move on to Cole. I'm proud that Mo is only averaging two and a half fouls a game right now. This was a guy when he was battling with his conditioning stuff after being with COVID and everything, you saw him just pile on the fouls. He, at this point, like I said, he's average, He's not even leading the team in fouls right now, which is great. He's not even second. WCJ is second. He's fourth behind Cole Anthony at 2.6. So the fact that like his conditioning's back, like Mo Bamba is back. Right, I mean, he he's back. Mo to, Bamba is not back. Mo Bamba has finally arrived. <laughs> yeah, well, Mo Bamba is back to being in the forefront of people's minds. I should say, in terms of and let's let me. I just roster. need to say this: Mo Bamba was infinitely better than Ken Birch mm. that Friday game against Toronto. Yeah, but also Ken Birch let's just should start go back over. to that stat Kim, line. Ken Birch should start over Precious Achua, though. By six the way, six points, six rebounds in twenty three minutes, one of three from the floor. That's a whole other discussion. We're not going to get into Toronto logistics. They can handle their own problems. But uh, Mo has looked very, very good. And um, the Magic are going to have a very potentially complicated decision to make this summer with Mo Bamba and, and Wendell Carter Jr. I'm hoping that they can coexist on the floor and just kind of like keep their egos in check because having both of those guys on the team is going to be like a huge advantage for this team. Yeah. 